hello. Welcome back. It is March 2020, and on Saturday, I got my March 2020 Mystery Tackle Box Elite Subscription Box. And it's time to open it up, check out to see what's inside. Is it worth the money? What's in it? Does it make the tackle box? Does it make the giveaway box or the giveaway five-gallon bucket that I give to the kids? What is it? I need that. What is it? Uh, what's inside? So today or this morning, we will look at what is inside of it and kind of judge it. I mean, if someone gave this to you as a gift, would you enjoy it? Um, in this case, I purchase it every month, and I feel like I can be a little bit critical, but if you got to remember, this is meant to be a subscription box that you get it as a gift, and it comes in. You know, so that's, that's what we're going to look at. So there it is over there. We'll grab it, open it up. As I get emails. And uh, see what is inside of this thing. There we go. Now again, you get this every month. Morning, Ray. Let me add to broadcast. Good morning, Ray. Ooh, like look at those, are those musky or pike that you caught in the snow. Nice. So... I'm going to switch this around so you don't see my ugly mug, except down there, and we will check it out. Like normal, you always get a sticker. Someone asked for these. I'll try to put them aside for you. I don't know who it was. Fish On by Catch Co. They always give you a little pamphlet that shows what's inside, or really, this is, I think, tips. I think these are tips that they give you. Yes, tips on how to fish a shaky head and how to fish a spinner blade. Pike, nice. We don't get those down here. What's up, Hammer? By the way, if you don't watch any of, if, you, if you're a saltwater fisherman and you like watching great videos, Hammer puts up some great stuff. You can go look on the YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below for Hammer's site, for his YouTube channel. So, well... Maybe they didn't give me a, a thing that says what's inside. No, I didn't get a, a pamphlet. So we'll start off with, to start us off, we got a Carl's Amazing Bait half, half ounce spinner bait. So not bad. You know, I, I'm, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I keep every spinner bait I've ever had. I've got a rack, if you've ever seen... I should to go take a picture of the outside of my wall, the wall in my garage. I've got a wall of pegwood, and I've and I've put up stuff, and I but I've keep I've kept every one of the spinner baits I've ever got, and I don't even use spinner baits much. You're very welcome. Next, and in no particular order, they gave us some EWG four out hooks, worm hooks. Nice. I don't know what Stickies is, but I think it's a brand of Catchco, probably. So, all right. Next, they gave us a mouse head grass jig from Thunderhawk at 3 8 ounce. First time I've seen that. I also keep all of these, too. I don't know why. Ultimate in swimming grass application is a pointed contoured head. You can read that. But not bad. Nice. Next, they gave uh, us uh, a Lunker Hunt Yappa Bug. Now, I think, I could be wrong, I think we got one of these, like, a couple months ago. So, I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, the Hometown, if you guys don't know and you're a Central Florida person, Hometown Heroes Alliance is actually doing a... Um, a family day at Fish the Pits, um, which is a, let me turn that off, which is a, uh, a Bear Monday fishing place. And for $25, you can go fish Bear Monday. Now, really, Bear Monday are nowhere in the United States. This is the only place in the United States to go fish for. So uh, 
Yeah, Jeff, I'm going to be out there with uh, Cro- oh, with Tim and Jacob and Thomas. So we're going to um, we're going to have a pretty good day. But I will do the radio show and then I'll go there afterwards. Next, let's keep up with it. They gave us a live target sunfish. This is another one uh, that I seem to have. I'm starting to get. Uh, and this is a great little swim bait, kind of heavy. I, I seem to have gotten that in the past, too. So maybe I'm wrong. I guess I could run outside and see. I, the wall, I think I have several of those. And I've never purchased one. But, uh, you know, that's that's how it is. Next from... I don't even know who it's from. It's called the Trampline Rip Knocker. You can see that there. Kind of, uh, kind of a good-looking bait. Almost looks like that uh, red-eye shad, kind of, somewhat. Uh, this is made by Jenko Fishing in Kentucky. So, not bad. I don't know what it dives to. And this makes me crazy. I know I'm getting old, but man, the writing, you cannot get smaller writing on there. One of the things, because, you know, I do graphics for a living at home. One of the things people need to realize is that much text on the back of a, a thing when you got to use like a four point font that you might as well not put anything on there. Just leave it blank. I don't know why people are, are not smart anymore. Like common sense has went out the drain. OK, so anyway. I'm, I'll digress here, but that's not a bad bait, so we'll put that over there. Next, they gave us some split tail trailers from Cream. Never seen these before, but, you know, okay. Then we, they gave us a bag of Power Baits Rib Shad, Rib for Her Pleasure. Sorry, fish hold on to these longer. This isn't bad. Swim baits, and oh, not done yet. They gave us an a cap t- a grav zero gravity. Oh, here's the thing that says what everything is. Duh, zero gravity hybrid. Aeroquake, airquake, kind of like a, ch- a chatterbait. I've got a couple of these. This is from I think, I've gotten one of these last year from them. So that's a half ounce. And then last but not least, they gave us some shaky head jigs from Excavator. Stand-up shaky head jigs. So when you look at all this, we have, let's look at it as what's going in the box. What's going in the tackle box? What's going in the five-gallon drum outside? Let's. I'm going to put it all there. The stuff on the right, I'm keeping. The stuff on the left, if you know me, you can have it. We're going to start off with the sunfish. Um, I'm going to put that on the left. Let me move this over a little bit so it's a little bit easier for you to see. I'm going to put that on the left. No offense to live cut target. That's a beautiful bait. Don't get me wrong. That is a beautiful bait. However, I think I have five or six of these that I haven't used yet. I probably should use them, but um, I haven't. It's a heavier bait. You can throw it a country mile. Um, The graphics are ridiculous on it, but for whatever reason, I have five or six, and I think I've gotten one or two of these in another box. So I'm going to put that over there. The Airquake, I mean, probably probably you can catch some fish on this. Uh, It's half ounce. Um, I was trying to see the trailer, if I had a trailer, it does have a trailer hooker, trailer hook, but if I'm going to use a a chatterbait, I'm going to use a Z-Man jackhammer. So let's put that on the right. I'm always, I, for whatever reason, I now have a collection of spinnerbaits that's got to go on the right. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. The Thunder Jig, um, Thunderhawk Jig. Grass head jig. I'm going to put it in the middle. Ouch. I don't know. See, 
if you've ever fished saltwater fishing, there's a jig company called um, Hookup Jigs. And the, the best thing that they make or why they make such good jigs is when they land on the seafloor, the hook always stays up. It doesn't go side to side. Now, I knew the owners of them years ago before Gambler purchased them. And these guys were the nicest dudes in the world. So when I, when I go out and do jig fishing or if I go saltwater fishing, the first one I normally put on is a, stand, uh, a hookup jig only because they've been so nice to me and I, 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 am a, I try to be an unbelievably loyal person. Good morning, Andrew, and good morning, Hank. Sorry, Hank, you only got a little one yesterday. I, I, if you don't follow Hank Snow, you have to follow him. This dude fishes as much as he, he, I think he actually fishes more than me, which is crazy to think about. So good morning, guys. Um, the excavator jig, I'm going to put that on the left. Again, hookup jigs, it's just what I like. Uh, the split tail trailers from Cream, these are really tiny. Really, really tiny. They're going on the left, too. The hooks, no offense, they're probably great hooks, but I am all about Daiichi hooks. The, oopsie. I'll put those in the middle because you never can have too many hooks, but Daiichi does so much for the industry. Um, if, you've never, if you've never seen one of the bleed and bait hooks, the red hooks, really you're, you're missing out on a, a fantastic super sharp hook. And what they do better than anybody that I know is that they are constantly donating things to kids fishing events. If we need something for something that we're doing for a kids event, we call them and they send up boxes and packs of, of sample hooks so that every kid can get several of them. And when something like that uh, when someone does like that, a company does like that, I believe you got to support them. So anyway, we're going to go next with the Yappa Bug. It's going on the left. I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I have a couple of those or I've given away a couple of them and I'm just, you know, it is. Uh, this bait from Jenko Outdoors or Jenko Fishing, I'm going to keep this. I think it looks like a great, has a great paint job. Um, it looks like it's got quality hooks. It looks like it actually isn't set up right, to be honest. Hold on. So they don't put the hooks on, it looks like. No, they don't. It comes like this. Hold on, hold on. Let's look at this a little bit more. And then inside the box, holy cow. I can't even get the hooks out. I wish I had a pair of pliers. I got the hook out now because it's in my finger. Mother of God. That hurt. So, they give you the hook like this. But where is the... What the hell? Where is the... The thing to put it in the hook. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I'm going to show you guys. This just went on the left. I don't even think this is... Good morning, Greg. I don't even think this is legit. So I'm going to open this up so you can see exactly what it is in front of me. So let me get rid of this and get rid of this. Oopsie. So now you see me. So this is what they did. They gave me this bait, and then they gave me this hook. Now, where is the thing to put it in? Am I crazy? You know, usually there's a, like a little split ring here that you would tie your thing in. But in this, and you want to know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is going? Oh, you want to know what this is? This is a line through bait. You put your line through the top of it there. See that hole maybe? See that hole there? And then it comes through the bottom and then you put this through that. That's just too much work. That is too much work. Like I have time for that. Who's who? 
Mm. No, 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 no. It just went on the right, on the left. Let me get back to my stuff. That was, that's ridiculous. I don't even know what to say there. I'm I'm dumbfounded right now. What, what that's called the Jenko fishing trap line rip knocker, and that's a nine dollar lure. Okay, and then last but not least, they gave us some power baits. I'm gonna keep those two. So overall, I'm a little disappointed. Here's why. Uh, I think they're all good products, probably. Um, however, I think a lot of this stuff I've seen before. And when I get a box like this and I pay whatever, I pay $34.95, I want, I want new stuff. I want stuff I haven't seen. It's I kind of took a beating from somebody on an email, and I, I would normally read the email and, and and go more into detail about this, but l last month somebody emailed me saying that I wasn't, it didn't seem like I was very happy with the Monster Bass box, and, and that isn't the case. I thought the Monster Bass box was pretty good, but compared to the month that Strike King came out, that was, the, the between the, the Strike Wing King one and the Jason Christie one, there was a drastic drop off. The Strike King one was that good that that month, and then the the Jason Christie one. I felt like it was a lot of backups of lures that I already have. And if I can give one helpful hint for the people that make these boxes, don't get the things that are three, four, five years old, because a lot of times we already have that tackle. And not like it isn't good to have backups, but if you're like me, I don't own one jackhammer. I don't. I own 25. Maybe not 25, but 20. I don't own one uh, Mike Buka baby bullshad. I own a box of them. So the lures that I enjoy and that I use a lot of, you always get different colors and different, different, uh, different. You know, you have backups. So I kind of, when I get a box, I want to see something new. And in this box this month, I didn't really see anything that was new or that was really exciting. No offense. I'm just trying to keep it as honest and as real as possible. Because really, I hate those emails from people saying, oh, I did this. you didn't do the person right. Well, you want to know what? Don't watch. Jeez. So anyway. You guys can, I'll put this on YouTube. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And don't, keep it real. Don't swear or knock somebody or knock a product. That isn't what we're supposed to do. We need to uplift each other and try to uh, get everybody out there to fish more. Because that's really what it comes down to. Because Saturday we're going to have a whole segment, literally a whole segment about where the industry has went in the last couple years. We are down a lot of anglers. We are down a lot of people who are registered fishing anglers. So we're going to talk about that and how to get the youth, or maybe how to get our youth involved a little bit more in fishing because we're really in trouble. The industry is taking a beating right now. And uh, hopefully we'll have Hank Cherry on the show too. I reached out to him uh, to say congratulations on his classic win and hopefully we can have Hank on and uh, say hello. So anyway, this will be on YouTube right after this. So go comment tell me what you think if i am i wrong on my assessment of this um if you got this as a gift would you like it what are your thoughts so i'll put that in there and also i'll put a uh, a link to jeff and hank's youtube channel so if you want to see some great fishing and some other stuff hammer does uh jeff hammer does amazing stuff on the lagoon and and really if you don't know hank 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 fishes a ton um there's a couple videos already done that you're gonna see. You're gonna see a new uh, a new video from the. Uh, let me see if I can find one real fast. This one right here, the hybrid swim crank from Six Sense. 
uh, you're going to be really happy with this. This is a top water, almost a top water wake bait. It only goes down. Look at that. You can see the light from my. Oh, that's the light from the camera. You can. Uh, this one dives about six, seven inches, and uh, you're going to see some some different photography that I did. Um, let me put that up there. I bought a month, three month subscription to Lucky Tackle Box, and now they won't stop sending me boxes, and they keep trying to charge me for them. I canceled two months ago. Yep, that's one of the issues that most of these companies have. They're not, they don't all send you stuff month after month. I bought a six cents box or bag, and quite honestly, I thought they were gonna. I was up for them to send me one every month. However, they didn't. But a lot of these people send them month after month after month. You have to, you have to go in and cancel them. And it can be a nightmare, especially Lucky Tackle Box. No offense. They had a whole change of, of ownership in the last six, seven months. And and uh, getting them getting to cancel can be quite challenging. I don't think it would be that hard with Mystery Tackle Box or Monster Bass because they've been doing it, well, especially Mystery Tackle Box. They've been doing it for so long, and uh, they're, just, they're just on top of stuff. So good luck with that, Greg. Anyway, I'll put this in the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and, and be part of the Fishing Florida Radio family. If you want some of the prize packs, by all means. If you need me to tell you how to get some of the prize packs by now, I, I go through it way too much. Watch another video. That's the best way. That's what I'm going to start saying. Watch another video, one of the older videos. <laughs> anyway, we'll be live Saturday morning. I think Mike is in studio again. We haven't seen Mike all year. So I'm excited about that, and uh, let me just say thank you to everybody who texted or emailed me or whatever and contacted me about how happy they were to see how well Thomas did swimming this past weekend. The team did fantastic. I mean, fantastic. These nine-year-old boys are competing against kids that are a year, some a year and a half older because you swim till you're up to 11. And some of these kids are, they look like men at 11 years old, to be honest. So my little boy and the team is swimming against Giants, and they finished second in the state. And they would have finished fourth in the other one, and we were ranked 35th, and we uh, we finished fourth. We got two kids on the team that are lightning, and I'm so proud of the whole team. But thank you for everybody for contacting me and wishing thomas good luck and all that other stuff so we got a new set of coast of sunglasses that are coming to us we are not going to have cards this year we're going to give out physical pairs of coast of sunglasses the new diegos so be on the lookout for that because i'm going to give some away on these kind of things anyway i hope you guys have a blessed day remember to take a kid fishing get your fish on have a great day we will see you soon cheers guys later